Hey, what's up everybody? Name is Dirgefang, and today I'm bringing you my second Ubuntu tutorial. This is a small explanation about the Ubuntu desktop. The, everything here is what you will see as soon as you're done installing Ubuntu. Um, there is one thing I would like to say before I get started. It's that I'll be doing a more detailed explanation about everything you're about to see. So if you don't understand something, don't worry. I'll be going over everything in a future tutorial. But uh, alright, let's get started. As you can see, it's a little bit different from your Mac or Windows operating system, but it operates pretty much in the same way. Say if I were to right click, I have some op options right here. Um, almost the same thing as Windows or Mac. On your top right up here, you have some options, system settings, display, startup applications, updates, uh, printers, lock screen, very basic things. Here's my user interface. I c as I'm currently logged in as my administrator account, but I could, I believe from here I can make accounts. Let's see, actually. Yes, I can make accounts, and as you, whoops, <laughs> well, that was an accident. But anyways, uh, you could do a guest session. Basically, what this will do it just logs you in as a guest, so you have less pri privileges. Next one over is a calendar. Next one's sound, and this one's uh, network settings. You can set up a wired VPN or wireless. And this is your Thunderbird interface. I'll be going going over this in more detail, especially, but it's pretty much like the Microsoft Outlook. And if you go over here, that you have this dash home. This acts as a start menu. As you can see, there's a terminal. It's sort of like the command line. Well, basically, it is a command line. But uh, as you can see, it's not currently on my default uh, program list, but say if I were to type in terminal, I could drag this over here, and it's now officially a default option over here. That's basically what that does, so I'll get out of that. Um, home folder acts like my computer, which is the same stuff like your desktop, um, downloads, music, stuff like that. Um, Firefox is the default web browser, but trust me, you could uh, you could use other web browsers. I'll be showing that probably in my next tutorial, how to install them, download them, stuff like that. Um, it's either Liber, Liber or LibreOffice, not really sure which one, but Writer is basically like Microsoft Word, Calc is Excel, and Impress is PowerPoint. Um, the Software Center is full of software that's 100% compatible with Ubuntu, so you don't have to do any fancy things that I'll be showing you in the future. With, uh, say, you want to use a Windows program on Ubuntu, I'm going to be showing you how to do that. There we go. Small look on the, the interface. They have options like uh, accessories, internet, which will be like web browsers, games, stuff like that. Um, next one down is Ubuntu One. This is the cloud inner. This is the uh, I guess you would call it just a cloud feature on Ubuntu. It's sort of like I iCloud. You get a store of photos, files, pretty much any anything. And I believe you have five gigs. Not 100% sure on that. Don't quote me on it. But I'll be showing this later. Um, system settings is basically like your control panel. You have some pretty neat options to cu customize uh, the operating system. Next one down is the update manager. Um, thing you'll learn really quickly it's that uh, Ubuntu has a lot of updates, so definitely uh, pay attention to this. And this is Workspace. What I believe Mac has the same type of interface, but say if I were to open Firefox, come on, Firefox, don't don't fail on me now. All right. Now say that's open over here. Say if I want to work on something different, but I still want to have Firefox up, I could just switch the workspace. I have four of them. And I believe if you have more than one monitor, um, basically this, oops, I don't know what I did there, but uh, um, this will be my first monitor. I think this will be my second, third, fourth. I have yet to test it out, so uh, don't get angry at me if that doesn't work. There we go. And that's about it for the Ubuntu desktop, so if you liked the video, feel free to like it, subscribe to me, and I'll see you guys later.